Welcome to the Zuma Lumasonic installer video. Please take note of the following safety warning before commencing the installation. This product must only be installed by a competent person to the current edition of the IEEE wiring regulations BS7671 and relevant building regulations. The installer must be trained and experienced in the installation of electrical fittings in the home. Zuma contains keys which must only be removed when instructed in step 7, installing Zuma into the ceiling. Ensure the ceiling cavity that the Zuma units are installed in has an internal height of at least 13 cm. Ensure there is a clearance of 10 cm on all sides between Zuma and insulation material. Ensure that Zuma is not covered by insulation material. When performing this install, you will need the following items. The Zuma units, their bezels, their power supplies, a 95mm hole saw, a power drill, an iPhone running iOS 14.4 or later. Within the packaging, you will find a power supply, which will have the Zuma DC cable already attached at the low voltage end. At the high voltage end, marked 220 to 240 volts, remove the cap to access the live and neutral terminals. Unscrew the terminals to open them. Carefully feed in the blue and brown live wires from the lighting circuit into the correct terminals. Tighten the terminal screws so the cables are securely clamped. Safely resecure the cap to ensure a solid connection. Complete these steps for all Zuma units for this installation at this time. You are now ready to turn off power at the consumer unit. Do not install Zuma units with dimmer switches. If you have dimmer switches, remove them from the lighting circuit and replace them with rocker switches. Using the 95mm hole saw, drill a hole for each Zuma. When installing multiple Zuma units on the same circuit, it is recommended to daisy chain the power supplies as shown in this wiring diagram. With the power turned off, connect each power supply to the electrical circuit. Feed the power supply into the ceiling cavity. Make sure you leave enough of the Zuma DC cable available to connect to the Zuma unit. Now let's get the Zuma unit out of the box. When removing the Zuma unit from the box, do not pull from the blades. Remove the Zuma from the protective bag Carefully handle the zoomer by holding the edges of the front plate. Connect the zoomer DC cable to the socket on the rear cap of the zoomer unit and insert into the ceiling. Hold the unit flush to the ceiling and carefully remove both keys one at a time while supporting the unit with your other hand. Once both keys have been removed, the zoomer unit is now in place. You can now attach the magnetic bezel. Repeat this process with all the Zuma units you are installing. Download the Zuma app on the iOS device you intend to use to control Zoomers. You can control the Zuma from multiple devices. Turn on the power at the consumer unit. Once power is resumed, all Zuma lights will turn on. Shortly after, the LED status indicators on each unit will start flashing purple. Once all Zuma units have reached their flashing purple status, you will now be able to complete the setup using the Zuma app on your iOS device. For more information on Zuma and Zuma products, 
please visit www.zuma.ai.